first five months in Corvallis. How are you liking it up there? Oh, we're, we're loving it. The people have been fantastic. I know we've had uh, a million meet and greets, and, and that's great because we've got to get Beaver Nation excited. Um, but now we're, we're, we're in the thralls of practice, uh, and that's what we're here to do, to get on the court and try to get our guys better. Uh, and so it's, it's been a fun ride, um, but we're excited to be you know right here knocking on the doors of our season. How is practice going? I know you guys had to hold walk-on tryouts. We did. You know, we, we've got basically nine scholarship players, uh, and so we had open tryouts. 22 kids showed up. Uh, it was great, varying degrees of talent, but uh, it was neat to see the passion and the desire they had to, to want to be a part of the program, and we kept seven of them, and so uh, we're, we're going to need them, uh, you know, each and every day, not only just to be practice players, but um, I think really to try to spread the pride and the tradition that is – Oregon State basketball, and they're going to be vital uh, parts parts of our team moving forward. With such a big recruiting class coming in next year, everyone's been saying that you know you're one season away. How do you take that? Well, I think this year is very important as far as uh, laying our foundation and how we're going to go about our business, how we're going to play, how we're going to defend the fundamentals with which we go about things. And um, you know, this is not a throwaway year. Some of my friends, oh, you don't have to worry, you know. But uh, I'm too competitive, so uh, we're going to get these guys to play hard, to play the right way, to play together, and then add some, some more talent. Uh, we have talent, but we've got to add more and, and, and create some depth there uh, because competition is really a, a great creator of discipline, as we know. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll be in good shape, but uh, this, this, this will be a challenging year, but it's an exciting year because there's nowhere to go but up, and we can really get out of the, sh the shoots here. Um, with the way we want to play. So what is your coaching mentality then in a year like this year? Uh, you know, we're, we're coaching as hard as we ever have. You know, there, there are some absolutes, um, you know, as, as far as characteristics, discipline, toughness, uh, togetherness, and, and character. And so those are some of the traits that we're trying to create in some of our guys. Uh, obviously, we look for that when we go out on the road and we recruit. Um, but those are things you can't compromise in our program. And we know with them, um, you know, the, the X and O's and they're, they're going to wins and losses are going to take care of themselves. Well, one of the recruits coming in next year is your son, Trace. Just as a fatherly standpoint, you know, what, what are you looking forward to in coaching him? Well, it's going to be the thrill of a lifetime to be able to coach my son. You know, you saw uh, what the McDermott's were able to share at Creighton and, and no way am I trying to compare myself to the dad as a coach or my son uh, as a player. but. Um, you know, I have talked to Greg, and, and they, had, they had some great moments through some highs and lows to be able to share that with, with your offspring is pretty neat. So, um, you know, it's going to be fun. I, I've warned my wife that I don't need advice from her behind the bench telling me to put them in or when to pull them. Um, but we're going to enjoy that as a family for sure, and it's, it's, it's really going to be a joy. How that conversation go with your wife? <laughs> She's going to win out like she does in all of them. Um, your mentality then for next year moving forward, how do you build this program up to where it needs to be with bit, such big talent coming in? Well, you, you know, when, when we do get that group in, they're, they're going to be untested, you know, and, and they've got to get physically more mature, tougher, um, but we're not going to be afraid to throw them in the fire. You know, we're, we're putting a, a challenging schedule together, um, and, and you know, they've got the confidence that they're going to be able to help turn things around, and we're going to throw them right in there now. They also have, I think, after this year, we'll have a really good group of upperclassmen uh, to work with, to learn from, uh, and, and then that's what you want to do. You want to build it class by class so that the old school, you know, outgoing class can hand the baton to the next one, and that's how you create uh, consistency, uh, which is what we're trying to get to. Is there any update on Chai Baker? Uh, no, we're, we hope to hear in early November about his status moving forward. Uh, he's at practice every day. He can't compete, but he, he's just itching. You see him. He, he actually jumped in a little shooting workout, which he wasn't supposed to before practice. But uh, he's a great kid, and, and hopefully we get some good positive news here before long. Finally, as your first year at Oregon State, how's the chemistry been between you and the players? Uh, it's been, I think, remarkable. Uh, really, we're, we're talking about guys that are coming you know, from, from a team a year ago where, where they had very limited roles. Um, and, and, and they're starving, you know, to be coached, um, they have to try to be pushed to, to get the most out of them. Um, and yet they know that we're doing it in a fair and consistent way, which is important. So we're having a lot of fun. Uh, we haven't faced any true adversity 
uh, other than a, a big thing in Chai's situation in, in August, which was tough for a new team and a new staff. But, you know, we all kind of held hands and got each other through it, which I think says a lot. Um, but uh, the course of this season is going to be enjoyable from a standpoint that, you know, it's going to be kind of start here and go up from there. And so it's going to need to see that process and be a part of it.